Welcome back everyone to another episode of The Neil's Next Door. Um, as you guys know, we've been transitioning to a lot more travel videos, but today I have a video on the Kia Telluride uh, because the Telluride is very instrumental in most of our traveling adventures from our road trips because we are a road trip family and that's the reason we got it, so we could haul up everything we needed and get on the go. So I will still be posting videos about the Telluride on this channel and there's a small chance we might be upgrading to a new Telluride pretty soon, but we'll see how that all works out. But in the meantime, I do have something for you guys today. It is a screen protector from screenprotect.com. Um, I'll drop the links in the description below. Um, it's probably popping up also on the screen, but what it is, is it is a screen protector for both the LCD um, navigation screen as well as the instrument cluster. So. Um, I'm gonna install it. Ideally, it should be one, two, three, because it's like installing a screen protector on your phone. Hopefully, it is, and we'll go from there. So let's first go over what you actually get inside the package. The angle's kind of weird, but I needed. I'm actually on the hood of the Telluride, so that works out well. Um, it does have a spray bottle. It's empty. I guess we gotta put our own. It might just be water. I guess actually put in it. We'll see though. Um, it's empty now. Let's see. All right, here's the screen protector for the instrument cluster. And here's the one for the other instrument cluster. Like I said, this is the insurance package, which comes with uh, extra both of the instrument cluster as well as an extra one for the LCD screen. And yep, here's the ones for the LCD screen. So when you go to the website, it does make you verify your model um, to make sure you actually have the correct one. Um, as you guys know, the screen did change for the newer Telluride models. I do have a 2021 Kia Telluride EX Nightfall Edition, so I do. So my screen might be different than yours. I know if you got the lower trim models for my year model, it does have a different size LCD screen, but it does give you the option to make sure you confirm that you have the correct one, and everything's good to go from there. Oh, it also comes with. Uh, cloth as well it looks like oh yeah that's actually pretty high quality cloth and then a squeezy let's do this so i am going to go ahead and try to install it now um pretty much what you have to do is i did have to fill this up i thought this was empty but if you actually read the directions on the back of this is just to add water there's a little bit of gel inside of it. it shook it up nice clean solution so what we have to do is we're going to spray down the screen, use to include a cloth to clean it down. Um, then we're going to use the spray down again, use the squeegee that's included to make sure there's no dust anywhere around, mist the screen again, then mist the front and back of the screen protector. Now, I highly suggest you guys upgrading to the insurance package that includes extra screens because this is my second time doing it the first time I failed miserably I'm um, not too bad but I didn't realize that like if you look on the actual screen itself especially on the Telluride there's curved edges and straight edges the curved edges goes on the top I just thought it was gonna be the same thing up and down that's my fault um, so luckily I was able to pull it off but I have another one I could replace it with so we're doing good all right so we're gonna take the solution we're gonna spray it down do a good wipe do a good, get a good wipe in here. Um, I also did an LCD screen cleanup in advanced as well, just to kind of just like ensure everything's good. But yeah, we got that. That's good to go there. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to take. Um, I don't have any dust, but you're supposed to spray it again to add any dust. Um, luckily, I've done this once before, so I kind of know what to expect. Um, what you're going to do now is, now that you're ready to peel off your stuff, understand where the top and bottom is. You can't see it on this paper, but the curved edges are here, so this is going to be a top. So, what I'm going to do is, as I'm peeling this off, I'm going to spray the back of this as well, so it stays nice and moist. Also, the reason why is because if it starts to fold over while you're unpeeling it, you don't have to worry about it sticking to itself, and it kind of makes your life a little easier later on down the line. So, um, we're going to do this. We're going to get that in there. It's 
pretty hard with one hand, uh, but you know, we'll make it work. All right, now, now we got that. So now what we do is you line up the edges where you think it's gonna go. I think that makes it good right there. That looks good there. That looks good there. What we'll do is spray this down also to kind of make sure that when we're, when we're moving things around, life is good. You know, move that out there, move that out there, move that out there. Mm, there you go. Boom. All right. Then what you'll do is you're going to take the cloth. You're going to wrap this around the cloth like this. And you're going to go in a clockwise motion. So I'm going to start up top. Boom, boom, boom. Um, this is definitely going a lot smoother. The air bubbles are coming out nice and clean. Uh, <laughs> if you ever did a screen protect on the phone, it's pretty much the same concept. Alright, screen is on, so now I'm just going to come in, clean this all off with the cloth. Alright. Actually, looks pretty good so far. I don't have any bubbles. Well, I do have a little bubble here, which I'm just going to take the squeegee. That's out of there. Uh, let me get see if I get you guys a better angle. So this is what it looks like now up close and personal. You can see that it fits perfectly. Um, there's no extra excess that leaves, so it's a good cut. Um, so let's let's turn on the car and see how it looks. All right, let's see. So the screen works perfectly fine. It looks like. Uh, let's see. works really well that's how you pretty much install it now I'm gonna do it on the actually LCD display I do is gonna be the same exact steps the only difference is gonna be I have to put a headlamp on so I can kind of shine to see what I'm doing um, also it is probably gonna be a little tight in there so recording is gonna be a little difficult but um, so far I like it because it hasn't changed any function I actually like how it feels when you touch it um, to be honest with you um, and then so far hasn't changed any type of quality i used it with the maps it looks exactly the same I used to plug in my phone and it looks pretty good so if you guys are looking for a screen protector definitely hit the link in my description um it'll take you to screenprotect.com so you guys can order it yourself um but until then until next time have a good one people